What is going on, Mega Man and Mega Man X Squad? So today, I'm going to rank all the FNAF books that I've read so far. So the first one we got is Into the Pit. Obviously a S tier. It had a really good story with William Afton in it. And yeah, that's about it. That's all I have to say. That's all I have to say for that one. Um, Fetch. S tier, obviously. Another good book. It was a great sequel to the Fazbear Frights series. And I really like the animatronic which was Fetch. Um, 1.35 a.m. 1.35 a.m. Okay. I, I was just making sure I said- I was just making sure I said it right. Anyways, I think this is gonna be a F tier. I- I didn't really like the story. To be honest, uh, it, it didn't really talk about the animatronic. It just talked about the stupid doll. Now, about to step closer. This is obviously a S tier. Now, this was my favorite book out of all, out of four, out of the 12 Fazbear Fights books. This one was my favorite. It had a really good story with Foxy, Circus Baby World Pizza, and yeah, this was obviously a great story. I recommend. Um, Fazbear Fights 1, 2, and 4. Don't worry, I don't recommend um, Fazbear Fights 3. So, um, now we got the Silver Eyes, re the book version. Honestly, this was an S tier. It had the 1800s to the 1900s, which was obviously a great, um, which was obviously great years. When FNAF, when FNAF came out, um, yeah, and it had chapters. It had 13 chapters, and it came back to one of the chapters, which is chapter three. I think it was everyone's favorite chapter. And last but not least, we got the Silver Eyes graphic novel. Obviously, this is a S tier. It is a really good story. I have not even told. The story yet because I have not finished it, but so far this book is really good. Um, and yeah, the Springlock Failure is pretty good, and yeah, that's all I have to say. Anyways, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you guys then. Bye.